Hi everyone and welcome. So today I have a kind of a different post. Um, I'm actually going to be posting this video in two places um, on YouTube. So if you're on my regular crafting channel um, on YouTube, um, these videos are kind of common. But if you're on my Stampin' Up! page, this one isn't. So I decided to do a little bit of merging um, because it's just been stressing me out trying to keep up with all the kind of different crafts that I like to do. So I am merging a few of my um, crafting um, platforms um, just to make it easier on myself. So today what we're going to be making is a custom pillow box here. I'm using Cricut Design Space and I use this um, pillow box that is from, um, let's see which one, from the Wrap It Up cartridge, and let me go back to my thing here, where are you, how did I get out of this, there we go, and what I did was, because this is going to, um, be a print and cut, I, if you can see right there, I made some score marks here, and I did that because once I make this into a printable, the score marks here are going to remove themselves, and the only ones that will naturally remain is this one here. So, I wanted this one to be to try to save it as much as possible. So I'm just going to line this back up to how I had it. Okay. So that's something that you can do. Um, it's just make your own score marks. Um, it's not neatly done, but it actually works. So what I'm going to do is for my pillow box here, I am going to put this on print, then I'm going to click this little red box here, and I'm going to come down and get a pattern. Now, I'm not sure if I can find the same pattern that I used on the pillow box that I um, used earlier. Um, I think that would just be too much because there's a lot of patterns in here that you can use. So I'm just going to try to keep it as simple as possible. I don't know. So I'm trying to think of a theme here. Um, cause I'm, oh, actually, I got to it <laughs> while I was looking for it right there. Um, so that's the box. But as you can see right here, like you see these little lines here where the page breaks are. I want to edit that. So I don't have that. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to scale this to be a little bit larger so that I don't see it. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to make this a see-through window. So I'm going to, first things first, I want to save this. I'm just going to take the LK out. And so I'm saving this just because I don't want to have to redo this, do this again. Um, okay. And then save, save as hello box. I don't really know. So I'm just going to do that. Just so I know that it's different. Okay, so now I want to grab this square here, and I'm, I don't know the exact size that I want, and I think I actually want this pillow box just to be just a tad bit bigger, so I'm going to grab everything so I don't have to fix it. Okay, I think that's a good size. And so now what I'm going to do is just start messing with 
this square. And I want to leave some room. Alright. I want to leave some room here for my side so I know that I have enough space there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take this image, click on control for the square so I can see here that is highlighted and this is highlighted and I'm going to do a slice. Okay, so take that out, remove that, and then I have my little window piece here. So I know that this is roughly three inches, three by two and a quarter. Um, and I'm going to need to know this for when I do my window sheet. So now what I'm going to do is now that I have this piece here, these two can go. I'm going to take this piece here. I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom. And it really is an easier way to do this, but I just didn't feel like doing it. <laughs> so that way my score marks come back up top. And let me make sure that I have everything. Oh, okay. I guess we did do it that way. Okay. So I have everything where I need it. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to attach. So now this will um, print and cut as one. And I'm going to go click make it. And the paper that I'm using is photo paper. And I'll leave a link in the video. Um, and I'm using photo paper just because to me it just looks better using um, glossy photo paper. But you can definitely use um, cardstock. I would recommend the Stampin' Up! Whisper White because I think that prints look good on that. And um, with that, but if you want that glossy box feel, use photo paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go get this printed and cut, and I'm going to share with you how to put this together. Okay, so I wanted to come back on here really quickly. When you're printing your pillow box, and because you're using photo paper, um, you want to, when the print setup screen comes on, you're going to want to click on Use System Dialog Box. Um, so th that way, this screen will come up. You're going to hit Preferences. Then you're going to hit Other Specialty Paper. And that way, um, it knows that it should be glossy. Because if you don't hit that, what I found is with my um, printer, if you don't tell tell the system that it's a glossy paper, your um your ink will smear. So then I, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna print and then I'm gonna send this to the Cricut machine and I'll be back to put the box together. Okay, right, guys. So this is what your pillow box is going to look like when you take it off the mat. So I'm just going to, when you're taking things off, you want to take your Cricut mat and just bend that so your project doesn't get bent. And I want to take that out. Okay, I don't need the rest of this, so I don't care about that. Put this back on. Okay. Now I don't need that. So now what I'm going to do is start scoring this. And the same 
smell that. I have a piece of window sheet here and I'm just going to see if I'm going to need to cut this bigger. And I am. Yeah. So before I do that, let me just go ahead and get my window sheet cut. Okay, so I know this is about two and a quarter by three. So I'm going to make this three and a quarter. By two and a half. Okay. We're going to see is this going to work? Yes, that will work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put like a thin line. Trying to make it as thin as possible across the edge. Okay. Try to do this without messing up my window sheet. And this window sheet, guys, came from Stampin' Up. Um, I think it's like five dollars when you get um two. Uh, I knew I was gonna do that. Okay. Take this little cloth here. Just want to clean up that glue or make it worse. All right, let's see. Okay. Not too bad. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this and start scoring on. Well, I got to find my score marks. Okay, let's make sure that this is dry. So when you're using this, because this is paper, you never want to put in um, um, unsealed food. Okay, just trying to find that score mark. The other one is up here. All right. Okay. 
So now I'm going to add some tearing tape. And this also came from Stampin' Up. So this is the making of your pillow box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this here just to plump it up. And doesn't matter which side. I'm going to look for my other score mark, which is about right in here. And what I like to do is to try to get the sides first. Because then that's going to help me guide in everything else and sometimes it's really hard to see these score marks but I know where they're at trying to see this a little bit better but I see it I just want it to go in there nice and neat okay and now I want to go ahead and start pinching in this side Now this one is a little bit bigger than the other one that I made. This is the other one that I made. But you can fit about three of those. Um, well, actually, let's just go ahead and open it up. I just didn't want, I did this bow so pretty and I really didn't want to mess up my bow. But let's just go ahead and do it. And these are some um, Lindor chocolates. These are like the best chocolates ever. So in this one, because this one is bigger, you could get in four. But I got three right now with me. So that's what I'm using. even without the score marks you can kind of figure this out yourself because it would want to um to naturally bend for you to do what it wants to do so I'm gonna leave it alone okay so there they go and I'm just gonna bring this back up here okay so now what I want to do is I want to stamp because I love stamping very therapeutic for me and I wanted to show you guys the stamp set that Oh, I'm about to, I, I had it. So this is the meant to be stamp set. It was a part of the occasions catalog um, earlier this year, and it got um, um, carried over into the main catalog. 
So I'm using the sentiment meant to be. Now you can use your dies or you can use your punches for this. So I'm just going to actually use my punch. And I'm using a one and a quarter inch punch. Oh, no, one and a half inch punch. Okay, so we have that. Then using my circle dies here. I think it's this one. I want to use this. Let me just double check. Let's see if this is the right one. Yeah, this is it. Ah, came off anyway. But I'm just going to run this through my big shot machine and I'm using some paper that coordinates this is Bermuda Bay Snail adhesive here to put this on. And then I'm going to use my hole punch. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this back in. And I'm just using some ribbon that was in my stash. So now what I want to do is, I want to show you guys a little trick on how to keep your bows from um, fraying. And you do want to be careful with this trick, okay? So I'm going to take my little thing here. You don't want to put the fire on it. You're just getting it close enough. Boom. Put it right there. It just burns the edge. And that's going to keep it from fraying. You do want to notate what kind of fabric you're using because some will catch on fire. I have learned that the hard way. Yeah. 
Okay. So now I'm going to adhere this. got more than one package of stuff so I'm just using some twine here and what I'm doing I'm just do doing this little loop right here because as you can see this one came off so I just want to keep this from coming off This time, I'm just going to do this one just a little bit easier. I hate making bows with twine. It's just so fussy to work with. I'm trying to do better about my cussing. Because the other word was on my tongue. Alright, there we go. Now I'm just going to make this look. Just a little neater. See, to me, twine is a little bit more fussy. It's hard to get it to look really really nice but we're just gonna have to deal with it and we're gonna have to like it boom and there we go just a larger version of this box And then here are some ones that are completely digital that I did. Where's my other one? So this one, I just did like a bridal shower theme here. And then this one in celebration of the Lion King, I just made a Lion King version. So this one is using the Whisper White cardstock. And so I really like how it turned out. But I just kept this one simple because this was the first one I was playing around with. So, there you go, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So, that will let me know that you want me to keep making videos. And I will be back soon. Alrighty. Bye-bye.